Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Um, I just want to share a quick thought about atheism and reason. I do believe that the new modern atheists today have gone beyond reason. Um, if you look at all the major leaders or advocates of public advocates of atheism today, whether it be Dawkins, Harris or or Aaron Ra or Thunderfall on YouTube or wherever, you look at them and they claim that they are the rational ones, okay? But really, what I've noticed with these people is they're very narrow-minded and bigoted towards anybody else who has a different opinion to them in who seem to be religious. And it's a particular narrow-minded bigotedness. It's, it's a a bigoted narrow-mindedness towards specifically Christianity Islam yeah but mainly uh, evangelical Christianity um, there's always with these people a lack of serious engagement with evangelical Christianity its thinkers its theologians etc and this is beyond reason this is not rationality, this is not rational discourse. This is just, this new atheism is just a cloak for a, a sort of barbaric, nihilistic, or nihilistic uh, bigotedness towards evangelical Christianity. Um, I can prove my point quite easily look at all the statements that they make about children in Christian families they'll make statements like it's child abuse for people to teach their children about the Christian faith and that the world is 6,000 years old uh, it's morally uh, reprehensible to teach send your children off into the world with these kind of Christian values of, of creation done in six days etc now that kind of language you might agree with it but it's actually quite disturbing it, it, it's not rational discourse it's beyond rational discourse because you know it's leaving behind issues of freedom and dignity of family life of individual conscience and it's moved into more of a total, totalitarian rationalism uh, which has come away from the Enlightenment and is is savaging the, the rights and conscience of religious people and they're getting away with it because there is an elite group of people out there in the academic sphere and society who just have not got the guts and the courage to stand up against this this kind of wicked rhetoric and that's what it is it's a wicked rhetoric that seeks to deny and decapitate and castrate the value of freedom under the guise of being rational and free when it is not for if it was rational and if it sought freedom it would encourage discourse with the religious right and it doesn't it 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 advocates an intellectual decapitation strategy okay strong words there now but I've said them to shake you up and make you think take care and God bless